Welcome to another video. The mission is to show that x is equal to this or this is equal to x. It doesn't matter what you think, but we're going to do it. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to look at this as the square root of x times the double square root of x times the triple square root of x times the quadruple square root of x. If you can see that, then this is going to be very easy for you to understand. Let's get into the video. Just to give you a good picture of what I'm saying, let's assume we stopped here. So let's say it was just assume we have the square root of x times the square root of x. Let's say it's just 2. You know, this can be written as the square root of x times the square root of the square root of x. This would be the square root, this x, the square root of x times, this is the fourth root because the square root of the square root is the fourth root. Or you can say, hey, it's just the square root of x raised to power 1 half. Right? Which is the same thing as x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half raised to 1 half, which is x to the 1 half times x to the 1 half squared. So you will observe that if I had taken 3 of these instead of 2, let's say I had done um, the square root of x square root of x square root of x what I would have obtained here would have been x to the one half times x to the one half squared which is the second one like I did here but instead of writing one half squared I'm just gonna write 1 over 4 times x to the 1 over 8 and if I take 4 it's gonna stop at 1 over 16 so it's easy for you to see that if I continue this sequence, I'm going to know that the square root, let's just write this, of x rad x rad x that keeps on going can be written this way. This is x to the one half multiplied by x to the one fourth multiplied by x to the one eighth times x to the 1 16th times x to the whatever, I'm just going to do dot, dot, dot. But what you have seen now is that there is a continuous increase in the denominator. It has been powered. It's as if you multiplied this by 1 half, you multiplied this by 1 half, multiplied this by 1 half to get the next one. And the sequence continues like that because the square root simply means raised to power 1 half. Okay, and from your high school algebra, you know that if you raise something to a power, you just multiply the previous power by the new power. That's what's happening. Multiply the previous power by the new power, which is one half, you get this. Now, how do we clean this up? Well, we know that from x raised to power a times x raised to power b, if you multiply two things and the base is the same, then you just say it's x raised to power a plus b. And even if there are one million of them, you just keep adding all the exponents. That's what we do here. So this is going to be equal to x raised to the power 1 half plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 plus 1 over 16 um, plus you keep going like that forever. Now what have you seen? The observation is that the top, the, the exponent is actually a series because there is a regular change and you're adding them up. What do you notice? What is the first term of the series? It is one half. What is happening to all of them? There is a multiplication going on. It's not addition that's happening to the terms. You're multiplying by one half, one half. That becomes your common ratio. So what we have here is equal to x raised to power the sum of a geometric series.
And what is the sum of the, what is the geometric series? It has the first term, one half, and the common ratio is one half. So with the first term equals one over two, and the common ratio equals one over two. That's what you've got as the exponent here. Well, we know how to do this. If you're given the first term of a geometric series and the common ratio, we know the formula. So this is equal to x raised to power first term over one minus r. This you learned in algebra, right? In this case, our a1 is one half, our common ratio is one half. Well, this is gonna be equal to x raised to power one over two divided by one minus one over two. Well, clearly, that's x raised to power half over one half, which is x raised to power one, which is equal to x. And that's it. This is equal to x. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.